there is no light at the end of the COVID-19 tunnel in the U.S. right now. More than 2,800 Americans died yesterday, in one day. That is getting close to a 9-11 event every day. Hospitals are swamped, doctors and nurses exhausted, and the peak is a long way off. Jennifer Johnson reports. U.S. medical experts predict the worst days of the COVID-19 pandemic are still to come. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention predicts another 200,000 Americans could die from the virus in the next two months. I actually believe they're going to be the most difficult time in the public health history of this nation. With over 100,000 people in hospitals, the American Ambulance Association says its emergency system is at a breaking point. Many areas are already out of ICU beds. Los Angeles is on track to run out of hospital beds by Christmas. It is a real possibility that healthcare workers are going to have to make choices. We're going to have to triage who gets care and who doesn't. When health systems get stressed, that's what happens. A devastating scenario for too many hospital workers. It's overwhelming and we're doing the best we can. Nursing homes have been hit the hardest, spending more money than ever trying to keep residents virus free. Now the American Healthcare Association says the pandemic could put 70 percent of struggling nursing homes out of business. There has to be a national plan strategy in order to combat what is coming down the road. Federal officials hope COVID-19 vaccines will start rolling out in mid-December, right after the Food and Drug Administration issues its EUA, Emergency Use Authorization. Healthcare workers and nursing home residents will be the first to receive it. If we can get to them in time and give them the vaccine and help them live the rest of their lives relatively healthy. Millions of people and businesses are facing bankruptcies and evictions. Congress is debating and inching closer to passing a $900 billion coronavirus stimulus bill. 12 million Americans are going to lose their unemployment insurance the day after Christmas. Merry Christmas. Anxious Americans are desperate for help as the pandemic continues to crush families and the U.S. economy. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.